Well, this is where it'll all be happening on Saturday. Royal Randwick here in Sydney, where we've got the long-awaited opening day of the championships. The headline event on the card is the $3 million Doncaster Mile, and one trainer flying the flag for Victoria's Colin Scott will be represented by Testarossa Gelding Speediness. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, you know, all you can do is, is have your horse fit and well and, um, and happy, and that's what I think all any, can, any trainer can do, and the rest's up to them um, and the jockeys. So, but it's great to be competing against the, the best trainers and, and the best horses. John Thompson's Ramwick Stables have been a home away from home for Scott and Speediness for the past couple of months as they've prepared for the famous Ramwick Mile. I'm lucky enough that i um, been assistant trainer of El Foreman with Brendan McCarthy. He was good enough to give me the two and a half months off unpaid leave, um, which is good. You know, not a lot of people would do that for you, but he knows what it means to have a good horse. So, um, you know, it's good, sort of like a working holiday with an alarm clock. After disappointing in the Canterbury Stakes, Speediness returned to top form with a narrow second in the Group 1 George Ryder, and Scott is happy with the way he's done since. All we wanted to see was him back to his best. And for him to be, you know, I think he got beat point three at weight for age. Um, I think he's improved again from, from the spring. So, you know, it's nice. And the prospect of another wet track on Saturday doesn't have Scott the least bit concerned. We definitely want the sting out of the ground. I think if you look at his record, dead, slow tracks, it's exceptional. Um, in saying that, he only got beat point three in the Emirates on a good three. So... He's, he goes on all the surfaces, but he's probably better with the sting out of the ground. And while Speediness is yet to win a Group 1, it could be two in two weeks for the six-year-old, with Scott eager to back up in the following week's $4 million Queen Elizabeth Stakes. He's 95% will go there, as long as he runs well and he comes through the run well. Um, he certainly he showed me after the rider that I would have been happy to have run him the following Saturday he came through the run that well. Um, if he comes through that Doncaster as well as what he did the rider, um, he'll definitely back up.